Why do we look like the clapper sign on the Jamaica top in 98? Someone's walked into my house without even saying hello or taking their shoes off. Let me smell to see what this is. <sighs> Locks, hair, under the neck. That's poet. Bro, I need your help, Spex. What now? This ain't my channel no more. It kind of was me and Scribs's. And now it's just kind of yours. I was wondering, can I just come back on the channel? I've got this mad show. I think it'll be lit. I mean, boy, you brought me here and I've got the keys, I understand. So for me, it's time you show just by yourself. Serious? 100%. Always Alhan, Chalky, Maya Jama, even Mitch, where is he? Yeah, my whole life has been like this, like a Kappa sign, just always bringing someone. Can you do that for me? I mean, I, I can try. Yeah, I'm, I'm down. Well, you need to, because time's running out. I mean, you're 60 soon. <laughs> And you're really hot when you're being an idiot. Thanks. You ready to go? Thanks. Is this is water? That's your water. Thank you. That's your water, brother. Just, sip it, Carl, just so everyone understands, mm. I'm just stealing sets every single time I chat to someone now because I don't have a set. Do you know why, Wiley? Because there wasn't a show until you phoned me today. <laughs> there was no show. There man, was nothing going on. Man, into existence, you get I'm, me? But I'm in the taxi with my girl, going to link my mum. Yeah. You phoned me yeah. and said, you want to talk today? Yeah. So I phoned everyone. Chucky, we phoned Alhan, Alfo, everything. No one could make it. Okay, so we're So I said, here. boom, I'm chatting to Wiley, I'm calling it the One Pole Show, uh, and we're keeping it moving. No, because I've, 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 I've let you soon. down a couple of times, so I had yeah, to, sorry about that. That's right, no, my dad let me down, my mum let me down. Oh, now I ain't got uh, the hey. tables, so now it's 94, so <laughs> don't worry, guys, I'm used to this from the hood. <laughs> What's oh, wrong bro, with you? Nothing, man. I'm good, bro. I'm just there. Mm -hmm. Man's trying to learn more about uh, podcast stuff. Man's trying to learn more about views and that YouTube and that. I'm just. I see you because you like to just Cause analyze you know, something, tell everyone that you're watching it. Yeah. And then you just sort of like go through the motions of that. So when you was in the podcasting, yeah. you follow me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I see you on ZZ Mills the other day. Yes, I, I wanted to learn. Marks. I wanted to, you know, it is, I think I needed to go on a, some before I did my own. Okay, To okay. learn how, to, because what I don't want to do is, I feel like a podcast is people holding a conversation and about topics or freelance. And I don't think it's an interview. And because yeah. I've done so many interviews. Jarring. Yeah, it was just installed like, so, so this, like the way you approach it, I don't want to approach it that way. So that's why I watch a lot of Chucky yeah, yeah, yeah. online with you and I watch a lot of, to try and learn that these are just friends and they're talking to each other about stuff. It's very difficult though, because as you of can course see, you're a musician, yes. which you are, a very skilled musician, yeah, so it's hard. to have the talk talk oh, associated hard. with that. It's hard. Do you know where I'm coming from? They're different stuff and more where my brain is trying to put a bar together in a thingy. And then now uh, I'm going to talk. That's why I said I watch it because I, I had to learn that this is just people talking to each other. So do not make it like an interview. Just make it look like a real conversation. Yeah, because the interview is not it. You're right. if, if, if you watch a podcast, but it feels like an interview, interview it's wrong. I think you're the best, but I don't even think you needed to go and learn any of those skills. Because what did any I have to do to try to remember them? It's just because it's you. You I are understand. naturally able to make a podcast because you don't turn up to places when you say you're going to turn up. <laughs> you're never really on time. <laughs> you might turn up sometimes. You are very disruptive. Yeah. So for you to have a podcast, because yeah. you didn't have to go anywhere, we probably had to watch you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I'm, 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 I'm sorting it out now. I'm turning up. and Because there's a time and a place. There is. There's, there was a time when I was on point. There's a time when I was off point. There was a time when I was had number ones. There's a time when I hated those number ones. I think that it's just humans. I think that we we do things. We've done it. We see what else is next. We make mistakes as well as... It's, it's like I'm one of those people I didn't know how to say no. Because if a booking agent rung me and said, Wiley, I got you this money. Da -da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if someone rung me and said, I got you this feature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one day... You say yeah until some are nah. They're just naturally nah. No matter who. No, uh, for, for someone who is very punctual, I don't really mean them. Yeah. But even they will cancel some, like one day because just Too it's much. a lot. Yeah, man. And when you don't say no, like, like I, I didn't want to say no because I just wanted all the money that was the, for the jobs that was being offered. 
But then I, uh, I took on too much and it just unravels that way. Like, So that's why a certain man will say yes or no to something. When their booking agent rings, she'll say, I got you one in Brighton, blah, blah, blah. And they'll say, someone sensible, yeah. like JME, will say, oh no, on Saturday, in actual fact, I have to go. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, I yeah. can't do that because on Sunday, uh, and he will tell the truth to himself. Whereas I will say, yeah, man. So I think that's that's a lot of it. Wait, are you just more of a mood man though? Because I'm a mood man. I will well, agree to do too. something. It could be Monday, and yeah. I will tell you Friday I'm there, cuz. And then Friday comes, and I don't know. Yeah, mood. I just moods. wake up, and now I don't know if I'm still making that thing at six o'clock. It's it happens to me all the time, and it's not. T- I'm not trying to hurt no one's feelings. I just definitely moods, and you know what? You know what that comes from. That comes from uh, again. When you, like, say if you know you've got to do something the next day, but yeah. then, like, an argument with a family member or someone close to you can put you in a different mood. Headspace. And if you don't know how to walk away from that when that happened, it comes, it goes with you into the next. So I've got to be honest there. I've I, I got to be honest. Different, it's not just, you, it, it, things can happen. Does that explain like life? Like, of course, I'm with that. Do you reckon that explains one of your traits of being disruptive? Because it's like it is life. It's not just myself. It's like it is loads of life situations, and it's like I feel like um, as you get older, yeah. some stuff you grow out of, yeah. some stuff you can't grow out of. What but, can't you grow out of? Well, it's not that I can't. I feel like when I was for the first twenty years of my life, yeah. I wasn't on the internet. So the internet wasn't really there for me. So I feel like the internet is just a whole different world. It's a world of like, you know what it is. And I feel like uh, that, like there's a, there's a part where I know what's going on, but there's also a part where I lived like 20 years of my life with no internet. And none of you, to not a lot of people today have lived 20 years of their life with Without no internet. internet. So I've, I come from a different time. Without so, me trying to sound like no, a friggin' old man, are you? yeah, like I come from a different time a bit. I feel like I was there in the, um, my our parents. They would have been first generation from my aunt, so we're the other generation. I feel like you know the times that we grew up. Yeah, bro, it it wasn't like it was a weird. It was weird. It was good. It was sick and vibesy. But I just I don't know. I feel like you know like. That thing, yeah, man, I'll be there one hour. I can remember my dad saying, "Yeah, I'll be there one hour." What you just said, yeah, yeah I can yeah, remember. Yeah. And then they weren't really there one hour, so <laughs> you get what I'm saying. And then you have to wait for a yeah, little while. Just... So if you're saying I'm not from the internet era, and then boom, here it is, here it in is, man's so, face. Yeah. Look at six nine. Now, if you, as a man, that can say I've lived twenty years of what happened to him, I'm not. You're looking at six nine now, six nine right now. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Two yeah. million Insta Insta live views. What two, happened? Two, yeah, two million Insta lives. He went. Insta what is that live. a record? Yeah. New record. Bust, okay, okay, okay. The old record. Yeah, yeah. He's got God knows how many millions of views. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. just chats a holy pacrud. Mm. As a big man who's seen a different generation in music to seeing this. Yeah. What is your take on someone like Six Nines approach to the scene? You know what it is. I I know his situation. I know I I I've thought about every single thing, mm. and even though I know how he got off, yeah, I know what they said to get him off, yeah, because I can just imagine. So and I know I'm right. So I know how he got off. <laughs> so how did he get off? I know. I know. I don't know the way they played it. It's very obvious how they played it. So like, how did they play it? They 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 played it that he's now the victim, the victim and stuff, and they they um have like kidnapped him up. So they've created a narrative to yeah, say that yeah. like, he's not the well, bad guy. Well, obviously, as soon as they all got arrested, I already knew he's gonna walk. His people will take him in. Mm-hmm. They didn't bust him. His people, but his people will take him in yeah. and carry on the vibe and. Obviously, our people go in jail. You're yeah. just going to jail, no matter what. Whether it's you've fucked. done something or nothing, it's you fucked. just going to jail. And it's fucked. Pe- other people, different people who like him and his music, they'll feel sorry for him and bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. And the boss who owns him will easily be able to sell him. And like at the gate with the storyline. And the truth is, right, in mm. real hip hop, 
Yeah. I know different people have done different things, not my business, but in like the day of real hip hop, obviously that weren't really uh like a six nine was and all that that wouldn't re- not really because basically you know you, you it's to them in England it's grassing in America it's snitching and it's not allowed and I, I I saw everyone talking about it I ignored it I didn't say nothing and because I know the narrative that the lawyer I know I'm a, I, I'm like a lawyer so I know what his lawyer would have to say to get him off okay so I know all the tricks he can't say them out loud but I know them right so I'm half nearly because I understand what he went through, you know, like felt not sorry for him, but I understood what happened there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I yeah, didn't yeah. I didn't feel sorry, but I understood what happened there. Then I went back to the time and I thought, you know what, though? One day he actually was in control of the trayway and he did all a 30 pack on Chief Keith. So, did. and when he did that, he weren't on this side of the fence that he's on now. Yeah. But I always knew the judge would say, oh, no, he's only little, get him off. and nah, nah, nah. But really, if 6 9 wasn't who he was and he was a different shade, he yeah. would be with Shotty in that. Can I ask you a question then? So say you take a look at... Shades. Like, you talked about music before Classism. Not having the exposure it would have elsewhere. So our community may say, say call that the, the, the hip-hop community. Yeah, that, hip-hop that's, community. that's the way it runs. It's obviously, today it's new kids. That so, they might feel like they want to feel, so but no I just internet, mean yeah. hip hop community. Yeah, a genuine, yeah. more likely to be a genuine yeah. thing to go over there because it's not as exposed. So it's a bit more it's of a not niche. As exposed. So if you like it, you yeah. like it. You'll yeah, get with the net there though. Now then the internet gets involved. Yes, it does, and makes this niche popular. Yes. When you have situations like six nine, yes, is that dangerous for hip hop? It's dangerous for him, or is it? It's dangerous for him. Just for him. Well, mate, it's dangerous for him. Basically. Like what he just went through, mm. like, and then I, I, I don't want to be like a party pooper. Yeah, but I know how this plays out. I've I seen it a thousand times, and I'm not, I'm not even gonna like be a party pooper. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't want people. Oh, you to don't say, want to tell man I, I, I will get there a little bit, but I don't want people to be like, "Well, you don't know. Shut up, you're an idiot." Don't try that one. Just loud that. So one. you don't want me yeah. to say that? Be like the guy that goes, no. "Iron Man dies in Avengers," and everyone's there. Right, right, but you know how it plays out. But what I'm saying is, he. And what went on there, people love gas. Yeah. But sometimes gas, it, 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 it will, the end, the gas does end. You understand what I'm saying? All that so, trolling, so, all that. Yeah, well, I don't want, I don't want him to um, like ruin his day. I don't want him to not have a day or not. You get me? But what I've learned is this. Before he was doing that, now he got off. He's not with them no more. Yeah, he's done. So you're not really doing that. So you can't start coming on the mic, 100 shots, because now you're not 100 shots. You still do it, though. So that's where it unravels. So whoever's not us or part of a community, they might just say, oh, yeah, shut up, Wiley. We love him anyway, which is fine. But what I'm saying is I know how that plays out just in nature. And it, it, or it don't matter about, like, the quick burst of, oh, my God, everyone loves him for this second. When it unravels, it unravels. So now, especially stay, in hip hop, stay, stay with that. So stay you're saying cool, when, you're yeah. able to look at a situation that yeah. happened now purely because you have the information of saying I can remember how situations like this would have played out without the net, and I, it's not going to be too dissimilar. I know it's a different now. time. Well, can I ask you a question? Go on, you might as well. N- not in an interview way. Just no, a just question. I'm, just, I'm yeah. just trying to find out bare information yeah, I, about I, this. I'm going to say because I'm going to switch it to the UK. In oh, hey, do you rate six nine? Do I rate 6 9 Do you rate 6 9 You could have answered that without even saying, do I rate 6 9 It's very difficult for me to answer this question. Do <laughs> you know why? I'm, I don't... The best. I'm the best. You You're are. the best as well. Carry sure, on, sorry. Because well, if I'm being totally honest with you, no. Nah, I don't rate anyone involved in them circumstances. You don't rate 6 9 But no, do, you rate the, do you rate the... What have you done to get what, out of it? No, do you <laughs> No, do you rate... No, not the thingy. Do you rate... Um, the fact that he dropped a video and it's got this much views and no. everyone's talking about it. and da, 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 da. No. Do you think <laughs> that he all. went through a thing and you can understand what he went through? Yeah. You, could, you can, innit? You know, like kidnap, blah, blah, blah. You of can understand, innit? I understand it. So can I. And Mad. this is why I go back to when yeah. it was all different when he was going around Chief Keith's area 
to show that he was in the hood. Yeah, so yeah. What yeah. I'm saying is this poet. If I, I have to be responsible for what I say and what I what my actions are, to a degree. If if you don't know me, if you don't know me and you don't get my humor, yeah. I have to be careful because yeah. uh, you might take something a different way. Not you, a different person I might take something fully. a different way. So what it is, is for him, I feel like he was allowed to use the culture, 150 shooters, are allowed to use it all because it looks all good. It does. Don't think it don't look good. This amazing. little kid with 150 man, thumping up man at airport, kicking up man and put, it looks good, mate. Yeah, that's amazing. It makes other people Non-black say, "Rah, look at him!" They, I believe the narrative. Rah, he's got thingy tray way. <laughs> so it makes people <laughs> gas it, right? So if he was allowed to use that thing to do the thing, then the big situation happens. Who? What that was is now no longer that. But the man who's paid him, or is in bed with him, money-wise, business-wise, yeah. he can't look at it this way. He just has to go in there. Listen, get there, get your hair back, Rainbow, yeah? Get some, uh, get the girls, 10 girls, shake some booty and get a beat as similar as the other one and rap the same as you just did that. 100 shots. All right, I'll ask you a question then. Let me just say this. Let me just switch it over here. Yes, please. Imagine there was a young kid in this country, 17 years old. I'm here for it. Let's say that. He's grown up in Newcastle and moves to London yes. at like 15. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Now he's 17. Yeah. And he's in like a mad estate. Yeah. And then the older boys are rude yeah. boys. Yeah. And they, they get hear him. that he raps and they look at him and they yeah. say, you know what? We can make him a star. Yeah. They make him a star and tell him we're always going to protect you. Yeah. And he starts acting wicked. Wicked. Yeah. That's bare mad thing. Tells everyone big. to shut up. Everything. I'm coming to your end. No. But at the end... Man snitches it and all sour. of the boys yeah. that took him in yeah. go prison. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, yeah. Are the people that took him the biggest fool in the whole equation? Are the, are the what? Are the people that took him in initially, are they the individuals that have made the mm. biggest error? Because without them saying, come in, yeah. there is no way of him being I, I don't so think I don't think this an error. I think it's an error for everybody. Because money... I don't know, by the way. I'm asking I, a question. No, no. I don't think it's oh, an no. error for the people who took him in. Yeah. What I think is, is that my delivery. Wait, sorry. <laughs> wait, because <laughs> I don't... Wait. Oh, yeah, so... What? Yeah. Because all uh, I keep what, thinking sorry. is, if that person was you, yeah. I would be so disappointed that you allowed this person to come in the community, so uh, now you're sitting in prison and he's out here laughing Well, this is Instagram. what I was going to say. Like, I wouldn't even care about well, him. I'd this, be like, bro, why did you do that? This bro? is what I was going to say. Listen, yeah. This is, this is a situation, like... The people who are sitting down, right? It, they they're pissed, obviously. But like I said, when they was at and when he was and it was cozy, it was cozy. Okay. Like fair lots enough. of businesses, right, cool, lots enough, of yeah. you know when you first do a thing and everyone and we're going, we're flying LA. And we're with, making money. Bro, it, it is amazing. You <laughs> might just be happy because you're going to get a cheeseburger from In and Out Burger. You might be because I was fries. You might what? be. You know, like the vibe of where you're going. So that's that's what I think. Like they was all happy at one stage, but oh. just like anything, things go wrong, man. And I, and that's why, like for him, like I said, I I did feel like, oh shit, man, he's just a little you, blah blah blah. But then I remembered, but he was ready. You send it. He was ready. Like he was do. He was doing this thing with his guys, and they was with him. If he boxed someone. These guys come and box someone too. So they was, but I always knew the judge will look at him and think, ah, oh, and look at them and think, mm, and then just Because you know what it is? I think the one thing why I thought I mean, he was the smartest man in the whole equation. Yeah, yeah. First of all, his name is my favorite sex position. So every time I hear him, I just think, oh, mate, that's lit. <laughs> yeah. So I don't even take it serious from when I hear 6 9 <laughs> <laughs> He's got like mad rainbow hair. I just can't that's take that point. serious. And then I, what selling I point, selling point. Let's talk I, about that. Is that I, a selling point? Is that, what's all of that? Rainbow hair. A hundred percent. If you're, got, if you're Six, a Mexican point. boy with rainbow hair yeah. around bare black youths yeah, who you bare know ice. are 30. It's the sick, bro. Wow. It's the sickest he trick. Like Tarzan. You know what? That yeah, guy is going it's, through the jungle and it is. just killing everyone. You know it is. No disrespect to him because he probably yeah. loves music, but it yeah. is a very good trick. Yeah. 
and like thing to ride off. I bet there was more people was earning money. Bro, I get it. I get it. But it's just that now nah, people have his, people are sitting down. He cannot continue. It's not Treyway no more. So what is it now? It's just Daniel Hernandez, it's 6 9 with the label he's with and his security. And I can bet you... Listen, do you want yeah. me to tell you what's going to happen in clubs of urban nature? Go on. Some clubs are telling you to turn that off if you dare play it. Yeah. Some don't care if it's not one of those urban clubs that I'm thinking of, right? Some will just play it, right? One, two, three. But for what happened there, it's got nothing to do with Treyway or him. God comes into play. And he does. And so God won't just forget that they're sitting down and he's just think. I've seen this already. I've so seen, so I've, seen I've seen a situation where man and man and they done their thing and then they sat down and then one man sitting down, one man come out and then the man who's sitting down is not really happy. About like I've seen, I've, not just one man, crews, friends, I've seen this too much. So is that the reasons why you speak out when you speak out about loads of different artists within this country? Because the only thing I will say about how you speak out... I'm giving... The, artists, I, 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 I'm riling them up. And you know what? This generation... Listen, every generation who just sails through and has it too sweet, they're not learning anything. They'll get flung away and then they'll look back to what I said anyway one day. Why? Because I've been through it as well. But I'm not trying to say, you don't go through it. I want you to go through it. What my thing is this, I'm on a Pastor Toby thing, but not, uh, uh, that's theme. To, that's Pastor Toby's thing. All yeah? right, cool. But well, I am on, right, listen to this, Stamford Hill. Pastor I'm on a Stamford Hill thing. You have to get where I'm coming from because if everyone don't listen to me, we'll just keep, it's the same. a million pound, right, in America, yeah. in a record deal, is like the best trick to get someone to come and give you three albums, four albums, or whatever the deal is, it will be negotiated. It might be one, two, but a million pound is dressed up so sick because when I tell you how much money these people make, like, give him a million. If you, when they give you a million, bro, when they're going to make their money, it is through the roof. Even if they give you quarter million, they can still go through the roof. Obviously, that's the time and business of which you do it, like at the time you learn, right? But in England, we've come too far to not help each other learn how to stick together. Because if you really think like the industry, the system, like is loves you like more than someone in your thing, they don't. It's just that even if you argue, like me and Dizzy don't talk here. Yeah? Do you think I love any major labels more than I love Dizzy Rascal's music and that? I could never. I, I, if Dizzy Rascal yeah. had an argument with a major label tomorrow, You'd back it. I'll back him. And we're not even talking. So that shows you what I'm saying. And it's not, it's not a bad thing. It's just a learning process. I feel like the ones who are older and the ones that we have made money, we should have learned by now. And we need to know what we're doing. Because just like in Jungle, they know what they're doing. In Funky House, they knew what they was doing. 100. In House Music, they know what they're doing. In So it's just that. It's just a line in again. And but me, then, the yeah. person trying to do it, some people might be like, fuck it, no, Wiley. But some people, this one don't, and this one don't. It's beyond all that. We've already competed. They'd be liars if they said they didn't want to be better than me. They've wanted to be better than me the day they met me. Every single one of them, including all of them. Of course they did. That was the whole point of... Okay, this is Wiley. He made Eskimo. Okay, now go home tonight. Let me mix some rhythm to bad up Wiley. Oh shit, we've got rinse tomorrow. Let me write this bar, man. Skid around the corner like Yoshi and Toad. You wouldn't have that energy if you wasn't coming for me, brother. Not him, not necessarily Skepta, but I just mean, I if, if, I'm, if I'm, you, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, if that's Dizzy and he blew, that's Kano and blue, and I become Wiley, and that's the time they all come in, then... The point of the thing was, okay, we're going radio, radio but the whole lot Wiley, Wiley can't chat to me. And I wanted them to think that way. The sad thing is when you get paid, you get your manager, everyone's nice, you get your thing, you think, now you've got a new message, love or bless, like, what go on, cuz, yeah, like, yeah, man, cause you don't know that we, don't know that we're making money. And then they said, 
it turned into that attitude. <laughs> like, you know, and then that's like, and then now the competition's gone. No one wants to compete. Everybody's blessed, which is fine. Yeah, there's your food. Yeah, but which is fine. Love it. But um, it's just that I feel like for my genre, I feel like it needs always was competitive. And it so you're was, saying this is a sport and the sporting it, it element com- of competitive spirit is being taken it, it was, out by it, money and major corporation. It has and it's our own fault because when we sign, we can't moan at what we've signed. So it's not just that. It's not just, you know, like... Mm, I hear you. I do hear you. I hear you. You're coming from like, it's sad though. Yeah, it is sad. But you know what? It's not too late. That's why when I... When I when I'm going on a revolutionary one, I, yeah. I, I, I I mean it. People ignore me. They act flash. Then one day, they all think about when they want to go on a revolutionary one. Then they'll holler me. But now you didn't want to like, do it when you want right. To do it. We do need it. to be aligned because if we all keep right. not being aligned, like right now, I'm going to be honest with you. I said this before. Stormzy is a sick artist. Yeah, very. I'm 41 years old. Us. Dizzy and some of them are 30 odd. Yeah. Some of them are 30. The lethal B is whatever, right? Yeah. We all should have been in position to have a bid in war for Stormzy because we are the fucking bosses. But you know who else, you know who really gets to do it? The others, Twin B and that. And no disrespect to Twin no, B. Twin B's a good guy. No disrespect to Twin B, but yeah. when it comes to Grime, he don't deserve no one. Before me, grime artist. He doesn't. One like, second. Miles, you can get, get your own food. Right. You can have a chip on that. That's all right. What I'm saying. <laughs> uh, I'm saying, um, <laughs> but I mean, like, not in a bad way, but I mean. Miles is sitting there we, thinking, where's we, my food? <laughs> we need to, we, no, no, go on. We need to be in. Um, you can eat it now, you know. Yeah, no yeah. One cares, we, need no rules. Biz- we need to be in place because we, it's, it's our fault. But we need to. This, this is our last chance. So then, like, do you feel like you're delivering the right message in the wrong way? No, because um, the the wrong way is just because I'm competitive. But the right way is just like, uh, did you not just do this thing with me for the last twenty years? What we've. Why is this even a conversation? Type Why of is it even a conversation? You, so I'll, I'll make what you call it. You made I love you. You made power. You made shut down. What are we talking about? What? Why are we wasting each other's time here? To be honest with you, I've all, I don't know everyone's situation, but I've I always wanted the gods, yeah, go on, all go on. of you guys, exactly. to just come if, and if, just take what is oh, rightfully okay. ours back and if, then just like... Right. But but I, I just but I think at the same time I don't know if everybody wants to do that and and everybody well, that's need my to point do it, and you know what Getz is doing his thing oh, he always amazing. has and you know what for 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 somebody like him yeah he's allowed to say you know what you man call off a minute I'm just doing my thing he's yeah. allowed mm-hmm. he's allowed because he's 100%. minding his business he, he, he feeding his he's on the same program I get it right. But what I'm saying is, is that if we never see eye to eye, I'm not going to stop trying to get better and earn money. And I'm the one who they look at in the, uh, in a little bit uh, who might have helped one person get from there to there. I didn't write their lyrics. I didn't make their beats. But if I take two people to somewhere and they blow up and I walk away and don't take a penny, I obviously wasn't thinking about it that way. I was going to the radio. But how they bus, if, I, I, I don't feel, I, when someone says, wow, why do you bust my man? I don't kind of feel it. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just taking mine to radio because I'm going, because I spat last week. I saw Scorcher. I want to do my one. And now two kids want to spit. Okay, let me take you up there. That's a, that's a story. Two kids up there, chipmunk bus. Odd. So you know what I'm saying? So I feel like, like, we're back to what you were saying about before when I say stuff on the net, like maybe AJ Tracy or maybe yeah. Stormzy. Uh. It's not a disrespect thing, really. It's more of a, lads, I, I know you wish everything was nice and thingy, but it's not. And the more and more I listened to all Stormzy's freestyles as he was coming up, they wasn't nice either. It wasn't nice. They was, they, 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 and that wasn't my business, but they wasn't, you know, like, he was he was tearing them apart. The thing is, this is what on the wicked gang man and all that, mate. But but again, it wasn't my business. I'm just saying. So 
maybe if the MCs who at the time, they should have been in tune with it. Grime is a competition thing. One person can't come through. Bugsy Malone yeah. is in Manchester. Yeah. One person with all the thing. Obviously you've got H now. You got yeah. you had others before. Yeah. But I'm saying like, that's unheard of. Can you imagine in London there was one person doing music and everyone else to sit on? Like my man in the yard, I sit on I think you had a cooler. Can you imagine that? That one only we got one guy down there, like can you imagine that? But then it's like if that's the message that everyone's trying to bring, I respect it and I, I rate it, but I'm just trying to look at it from the perspective of yeah. the younger youths. Yeah. No, but it's yeah, all but, good but it's all good and well yeah. saying it to the people that yeah. are up and doing their thing. But there's a generation of MCs fam yeah. that I don't think anyone's really checking for that have all come from that time. And I'm not going to say names or anything like that. I don't want to... What, like, I don't know what, AJ's generation. time or Big Zoo and them time? From, no, no. The generation before that. So the time, say F Radio time. Say F Radio time. Oh, yeah, like Devlin and Getz and all that. All of these people. If all of them don't have no togetherness and no... How is man expecting the next generation to have any togetherness? Because if I'm a young MC, I'm looking at it like, bruv, you man are not even chatting to each other. So why should... Like we listen to you, like well, you're di- you're disrupting everything. I'll be you go. I'll, I'll be honest, yeah, with you. Like, yeah. it's inevitable, yeah, that an artist is gonna do exactly what just happened with Dig That and Bouncer. It's inevitable, though, no. It's uh, like no, for for me, I've been here for twenty years. It is inevitable for a kid who's gonna get paid, and he spoke to the right lawyer and the right other manager. Yeah. And they've told him a different figure. And he's going to think, oh, boy, well, my man weren't even there when my man was at Air Force One. Like, it's inevitable. That is why they some some people don't want me here because I know too much. And like, see, like the labels and that, they don't want me saying certain things on Twitter. And I get it. I tone it down sometimes because I don't yeah. hate them. I don't hate them. It's just that some stuff I say can ruin things. So then- for not not so not that no one's gonna sign. Obviously, people no one cares. People are gonna still go and get of money. Course, of but I'm course. just saying that sometimes it's like, oh, why they give it a rest, man? I get it. Okay. So I felt certain times as well, like not even give it a rest. Like you bastard, what you done this to me? You done? I felt that way too, mate. Yep. Yep. Do you kind of feel like you might confuse the narrative sometimes, though? Because if that's the narrative we are in love. With what? And then you send. Then I remember when that was the narrative, and that's what's going on. And obviously, man will always defend you, Wally. Yeah, yeah. no, but, but then you'll say, say something for like Jeremy, yeah. and then I'm confused. No, I ain't just Jeremy. No, but one time someone said to Je- someone said Jeremy said a lyric about you. I was like, don't lie, and then I just t- t- it wasn't a lyric. No, I'm about. sure there was one time on Twitter, and I can't. This no, was so- Doc Rotten sent through. Yeah, and then I said, slick his head off. You know the problem. Gone. I just want to. I want to get some. The clip. person who don't tell Jeremy to take Doc Rotten's head off. Don't mind. He's getting. Don't mind if he's gonna get murked or nothing. If my man's sending for him. It's, so did you encourage Dot Rotten to lick off Jamie's head? Or was no, Jay- Dot Rotten's done. He's like, you know, Dot Rotten. He yeah, doesn't even. He'll doesn't lick care. my head. He'll go to lick Dot my head. Like anyone, it's not a thing. But anyone. this is the thing. This is the thing. Dot Rotten can't be Jamie better than Jamie. So if Jamie just beat himself, you know, it is. I just like to defend my garden and my ship, Jamie. Yeah. Would too, but he just he did, might not have wanted to. <clears throat> but when I said to Jamie, lick his head off, I'm saying it as a brother. So whoever don't tell him, that means they're just like ah, all looking over there. But Dot Rotten can't murk Jamie in his own style. So if Jamie said, you know what, Wiley, no, allow it, man. He can't murk me in my own style. I don't need to say nothing. I know I'm a don. I'll be quiet. So you're you're here for but the competition. If, you think the competition element? Well, of what's it, going on can is, I tell you something? Go on, when Doc you? Rotten sends for me, yeah. you want me to send back. I don't know. I don't, everyone, I, do, no. bro. Why is everyone like this? No, I know who I want you to send. Why for. is it? No, but I don't I'm, have an opinion on you sending no, for no, Doc Rotten. No, but you see, you see, you, how do you know Doc Rotten? I know Doc Rotten from being an absolute troublemaker. Exactly. Trouble and do you know? No, but I mean, you know him because he's good. Yeah, very good. Right. So that's how you know him. Young Doc. Right, so that's how we know him. He's good. So if he's good, and you're good, yeah, and he tries to mock you in your own style, that's the easiest way to beat him. Lick off his head. But if you're a man, mm-hmm. no, shut up, Wiley. I've got, I'm just going to be myself. I just, yes, I get it. Every, we all can have that moment. Like, yeah. No, like, allow it, man. Because when my man sent for you, you didn't say nothing. Nah, because sometimes my wars are not these ones. They can spill out there. There's, I've had wars where, how many times have you stabbed? 
So I've had wars that are not JME and ones and Doc yeah. Rottens. Yeah. So some of them, like, raw, why did you think it? Well, I did, and I went Paris Pavilion and I got stabbed. So I just didn't know when to say stop. You get me? So you get what I'm trying to say? No, because I'm... Fi- cause but them Doc Rotten ones and Jeremy, yeah. they're not them. They're the competition ones. So that's why I... Want the competition well, to happen. Well, Jeremy, you've got an album, Grime MC. It's yeah. come out. We're going to... we get back on the grime. We'll do a bit of work and blah, blah, blah. Doc Rotten... The problem is, is Jeremy likes Doc Rotten. Because if Doc Rotten sent for me that night, all you would have seen on Twitter was, Oh, Wiley, my man merch you. But that's because of, no, no, no. You it's because said, of the type of energy you give off. Jamie Je- is chilling right, out. Jump to, down, chilling out. Jump to show you something. Jump to show you something. Chilling out. Show me, show me something. Because Jamie's chilling out. Did you got to get him in the Nike Air Dunks, blood? Beat you up! I'm not serious. Oh, how old was that? <laughs> but, bro, bro, when Jamie sows the lyrics, do you think he's jo- Do you think he, he's, he's not... What did you think? That noise? What do you think that power is? That energy? What is it? Was it? Of 2006-7. It doesn't matter when it was. So you want, oh Je- no, God. I'm not saying he should... I'm not saying in 2020 he's thingy, but he is MC JME. When he's yeah. on the mic, he's not like a I wuss. Yeah, like he's not a wuss. I'm not saying he's a wuss, right. bro. JME's a JME, bro. So, I'm fully aware of that. But, but just, you know it is. Am God. I expecting him to be Skepta? No, I'm not expecting him to be Skepta because Skepta might have ignored Dot Rotten too. Mm. What I'm, all I'm saying is... I was at the competition part where I saw the way that JME could have just won. And you just said, why didn't and you do so it? And I said, right, just look upset. Then he said, no, nah, no, nah, you know what? I'm going to ignore him. Then I, because that was after, I spoke to him after I had said that. Obviously, I was winding him up as well. But before that, someone messaged me and said, yeah. right, JME sent for you. And I was like, why? I said to JME, right, did you send for me? On Twitter, and I said, yeah. that'd be silly. And that was it, you get me? But he had a bar. Why is Wiley wearing an Arsenal tracksuit? So that's as a bar. I had Why a bar. are you wearing an Arsenal track? So you're a I lost a bet. I lost a bet one time. Conor McGregor lost a fight. No um, way. Yeah, but, but I'm just no. saying, how can I tell the whole world that before he <laughs> says? Like, no, yeah, I lost a bet. Yeah, I lost a bet. Yeah, I lost a bet. It's too yeah, much people. Yeah. It's, it's fucking... yeah, but then at the same, bet, same time, yeah. I see you wear it more than once. I did. Do you know why that happened? How many bets did you make? No, one bet. I should have took it off. The tracksuit was looking kind of black and pink <laughs> and wavy. <laughs> when a couple of it's a bet. It's a bet. So I kept it rocking, but. Then I was in the DWE video. Big mistake. With the Arsenal track suit? Yeah. Like, what is wrong with no, you? One day he rang me. He was like, yeah, man, I'm going to do this today. You're going to be a bat. I was like, okay, i got to do it for you. I'm going to... I couldn't really have time to mess a bat. I just went and done it for him. And I had it on. By then, I forgot I even had it on. But again, again, I'm... Uh, You can't explain that one. When you're a Tottenham man, there is no explanation. You can't explain that one. So. Go on. you know, you've always been the one thing I like about you. You've always been a, a man that you just don't know what to expect from Wiley. And when you yeah, went to yeah. ZZ Mills, yeah. I didn't have a clue what to expect. I watched it, and I kind of even think that what you're so great now. You're not just spinning into like busting or not even busting, but making people's profiles big within the music world, yeah. it's even now to the personality world, yeah. where it comes to podcasts, mm. with ZZ Mills, that definitely added a lot of flavor, a lot of depth to the scene. Is that something you consciously do? Do you just look around and say, do you know what, it's not just music now, I want. I think that guy's good, I'm gonna work with him, and I think this person's good, I think I'm gonna work with them. Yeah, I think so, I think she deserves it. I think she's, um, she's like my mum or my sister or someone like this, and she deserves attention from not just boys, but black boys. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> what the, what? I'll tell you why. And why, who told I, you I'll tell you why she deserves, no, she, I'm not saying she isn't, but I just mean <laughs> in terms of in the workplace. Yeah. That she deserves our, um, mate, I've seen her on ITV, so she don't even need us, but what I'm saying is, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I've seen, I've seen her on ITV, so, but, ZZ Mills, I am a black boy and she's my sister or my woman or my mum in theory as a woman, yes? That's yeah. the way I see her. So I, she does, for me, when I see her doing her thing, I know I've got a duty to help her how she needs me to help her. 